The Gaza Strip is shrinking because of Israel's war, not in land size, but in terms of where Palestinians can live, walk, shelter, breathe. The UN says at least 86% of Gaza is now subject to Israel's evacuation orders. Remember, we're talking about what was already one of the world's most densely populated regions. So now Israeli forces have left just 14% of it for around 2 million people to somehow shelter in. In the so-called safe areas, every spare space is taken with a tent. Some people have even taken to living in cemeteries because there's no room elsewhere. This map shows how most buildings in Gaza had already been damaged or destroyed by the Israeli military by the start of July, making most population centers unlivable anyway. But Israel continues to force Palestinians out of neighborhoods one by one. The military calls this adjustments to its designated safe zones. Palestinians say the evacuation orders are simply a forced displacement strategy. Remember, Palestinians have been forced from place to place since Israel's war on Gaza began in October. The UN estimates 9 out of 10 people in Gaza have been displaced at least once. Some have been displaced 9 or 10 times or even more. Have a look at this map. Basically, most of Gaza's 2.3 million residents were pushed from the north and the center further and further south into Rafah. In May, the military took over Rafah and pushed people into the 16 kilometer long strip of Al Mawasi, which has since been deemed the permanent safe zone. Not that that designation means all that much. The militaries attacked Al Mawasi repeatedly. Meanwhile, life there is not just dangerous, it's also very barely sustainable. It's desolate, lacks basic infrastructure, but is now home to many thousands of Palestinians. But in the last week, Israel cut off another 15% of the area when it issued yet another evacuation order. That's because the military says Hamas was still firing rockets from there and launched an operation to clear these neighborhoods again. So where are the Palestinians meant to go? According to UN's analysis of satellite images, 55% of all buildings in Gaza have been damaged or destroyed, and 65% of the road network has suffered the same fate. Despite the horrific conditions, it's estimated about 400,000 Palestinians are still scattered throughout this rubble, living in places Israel hasn't deemed safe. The UN's Andrea de Domenico says Gaza residents are being moved around like pawns in a board game. For Palestinians, it's a cynical game of survival, which the victims of this Gaza war have absolutely no control over.